I'm Michael Brieta, plant manager. And I'm Casey Fiddler, UAW Local 51 president. We're here at the all new Detroit Assembly Complex MAC. Welcome, we'd like to give you a tour. Come on with us. Body shop is where you build the foundation. This is the foundation for every single general assembly plant. We built to the tenth of the mill. Our dimensional integrity is very critical to the rest of the process. You build a rigid steel structure and you send it to paint shop. This body shop here is like around 650,000 square feet. There's more than 500 employees working this body shop between hourly and salary. From start to finish, it's around two hours. We have our critical suppliers send in hundreds of parts for us to assess. So we measure each part individually, and then we have multiple fixtures to simulate the entire build process for the body and weight. After we put the roof on the vehicle, we go into our laser braze booth. It's a laser beam, melts metal from the front of the roof all the way to the back. In the past, you may have seen cars that had a black strip going across the roof. On this, it's an actual finished bead of weld going all the way from the front to the back. And then it does a brush and grind. It looks like one smooth piece of metal. This gives us a very high quality finish. So it's in a laser braze booth about 80 seconds. This is one of our 10 inspection stations we do for our, our weld integrity for the body shop. So as we weld in the different processes throughout the plant here, we have these stations set up. Our operators are using ultrasonic weld inspection equipment. It's very similar to what you'd use at a doctor to get your shoulder ultrasound. So the ultrasonic inspection is verifying the integrity of the weld. We want to make sure the welds are, are holding. So this is the Body White Nearline Laser Radar System. It's a radar technology that's mounted onto our robots. Whatever they can see, they can measure. So they're pre-programmed. We have hundreds of points near features of the car, surface points, as well as alignment points, shock towers. We want to see how the alignment goes in the front of the plant. And this complements our inline system, which takes 100% measurements. It takes about 45 minutes to complete the whole program. And we run this continually in all three shifts. This is our net form and pierce line. It is just as it sounds. We do a net form, we form pads on the vehicle, and then we pierce it. The, the pads that we form are to create the best fit for our fenders, doors, lift gate, and hood. We should have a certain limited gap on every door, and the lines should be very symmetrical. So right now on the station in front of us, the robots, we're actually doing a measurement of the vehicle, making sure that all of our finish, our fits are perfect for this vehicle. So we're currently standing on our panel line. This is where we assemble the doors and the hoods and the fenders to the car. This is where you actually get to see it coming together and become the vehicle that you're gonna drive on the road. So we sub-assemble the doors on the four lines that flank the panel line, and we build the fenders as well, and then they all get installed onto the car here through our production operators. We actually take the inner door from uh, Jefferson North, as well as the outer that comes from our Sterling stamping plant. We marry them together in our cells, and then we install them on the doors. So once the cars are assembled here, it goes to our metal finish and fit line, and they ensure that everything is nicely put together, that it's all within specifications, and that it's ready to go to assembly and be built up. So we have 15 operators and 15 stations on this line between the left and the right side. <laughs> 